Hey, I'm Jeff with Avid Max, here to show you today the Fish Pond Nomad Native Net. You can get the Native Net in two different colors, Native and Original. It's one of the smaller nets in the Fish Pond lineup, but it's still going to be a great net for a lot of different uses. As you can tell, it's a lot shorter than most. It's just a little over 25 inches long, and then the basket in it is just under a foot. I think it measures in at 11 inches. This net comes with uh, a nice little cord on it as well that has a little clip that you can attach it to your pack, your waders, wherever will work the best for you. But even though it's a little bit smaller than some of the nets, it still comes with a lot of the great features that all the fish pond nets come with. It comes with the rubber mesh here for the net, which is really great. If you're still using one of those old school nets, uh, it's really time to upgrade. These are a lot better both for you and the fish because the rubber here is kind of a snag free material so it's not going to be catching in the fish's fins at all but also as you're pulling the fly out of the fish's mouth it's not going to get caught up in this nearly as easily either. The other nice thing about these nets is they're made out of a fiberglass carbon fiber composite material which means they are really light and they also float really well. So if you've just got this kind of clipped on to maybe your waist or something and you drop this in the river, it's not going to make a difference at all. It's just going to sit there and float right next to you, especially if it's clipped on so the current doesn't take it away. And if you're out there in a lake fishing and you drop this, well then it's just going to stay right there next to you and you don't have to worry about it at all. That's one of the other great advantages of having kind of a net as you're out there in the water, especially if you're fishing in a lake and you just set this net right there in front of you. Maybe you've got some sinking fly line on and that way as you're stripping all of your line in, rather than it floating down to the bottom, maybe it's gonna get wrapped around your leg, maybe it's gonna get caught on a rock, something like that, especially if a fish takes it and starts running with it. It's just all gonna collect right here in the basket and make uh, for a nice little stripping basket right there for all of your line. Also at the bottom here, it is painted with a river coat material, so it's just kind of a rubberized paint, which means that even when the net gets really wet, which happens frequently with the net, it's still gonna be a really nice grip there for you, and you're not gonna have to worry about the net sliding out of your hand. Now, one of the great things about nets that a lot of people tend to have troubles with is after you've scooped your fish up with the net, everybody likes to then pick their net up out of the water to be able to show themselves or, or everybody else the fish. But the great thing about nets is you can keep the fish in the water while you're doing all your stuff. So as, you, as you've got the, the fish there in the water, um, then you can worry about getting your camera out. You know, maybe you want to take a couple of pictures or even as you're just trying to get the, the fly out of his mouth, leave the fish in the water there. So it's going to keep the fish a lot more calm, not going to be squirming around on you nearly as much. And since it's in the net, you don't have to worry about it escaping from you either. It's just one of the things that makes carrying a net with you a little bit easier. You sometimes think that they're only good for scooping up a fish, but really they can serve a couple of different purposes. So if you're just looking for kind of one smaller net that you're going to be able to throw, clip onto your backpack, clip onto the side of you as you're out there on the river or something, I think this is going to be a great net for you. If you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as leave some comments and suggestions at the end. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to our Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there.